Hello and welcome back to NPTEL, the National Program on Technology Enhanced Learning. Uh, this is an initiative by the Indian Institutes of Technology and the Indian Institute of Science. Our course, as you know, is entitled Cultural Studies and we are at the moment in module 4, the last module of this series of lectures. The topic today is new media, um, a relatively new area or subfield in the study of uh, cultural forms and as you know this module is entitled cultural industries cultural f uh, and cultural forms right so as always let us do a recap of what we did in in the last lecture the last lecture was devoted as you know to television as a cultural form as a media form and we saw that the study of television as a cultural form by and large entails four areas. Okay. Number one, uh, television is seen as or television programs are seen as cultural texts that are encoded by the producers and are decoded by the audience and additionally decoded by cultural studies scholars as to their formation of meaning. Then we also saw that te television was seen as a resource for identity and audience studies was, is an increasingly important part of studying television under cultural studies and television is of course a popular or source of popular knowledge. We then also saw that apart from these uh, textual analysis. Okay, of tech of media texts, um, the political economy from especially from a Marxist approach, uh, the patterns of meaning that emanate from television and audience research, these are also areas uh, of study that are increasingly being more and more important as far as media is concerned. We also saw that in the early phase the study of television particularly in the 1970s from a cultural studies perspective entailed the study of ideology, hegemony, cultural power um, mainly from a Marxist perspective and also the routine attitudes and production processes okay, and practices of staff, of uh, staff in media houses. Then in the, we found that in the late 1980s there was what we call the active audience paradigm where the audience was seen as active creators of meaning and also the you know the aspect of the fact that audiences could also resist ideology. This was also incorporated and um, accepted or acknowledged in media studies of oh sorry cultural studies of a media form like television. Finally, we saw that a global electronic culture is what characterizes the television industry today and this is of course a part of the, the greater the larger globalizing process. Right? Fine. So, um, let us then after this uh, brief recap, let us come to the topic at hand today which is new media. Many of you I am sure have heard of new media or are aware of what new media is. Uh, what we shall do today is uh, first you know uh, define what new media is and um, or it should be new media are right. Uh, what new media are uh, what uh, these comprise and then we are going to look at how cultural studies is going to look at new media. So, the key source texts in today's lecture are the new media reader by Wardrip, Fuin and Montfort, an edited volume and Bennett and Frau's edit another uh, uh, edited volume here, the Sage Handbook of Cultural Analysis. Of course, there are today um, you know increasingly you find uh, very good anthologies, very good collections of essays and also single authored books on new media, but for uh, you know the purposes of uh, a lecture which is um, just short of an hour, 
in duration, I thought uh, we should look at uh, you know uh, only uh, two uh, such texts so that our uh, discussion is also a well contained one. Fine. The first thing about new media is this Me new media is to do with the digital medium and not the analog medium. This is extremely important, okay? one needs to keep this in mind that new media is to do uh, with digital uh, with uh, you know uh, the digital form of or as a medium. Now, I look at uh, an important name here Lev Manovich, the language of uh, new media and he actually he is quoted in an essay in um, Bennett and Frau. Uh, Lev Manovich says that new media are the cultural objects which use di digital computer technology for distribution and exhibition. This is important and you shall understand why as we um, differentiate between uh, new media and uh, the old media, the traditional not traditionally the media before this, we shall understand why these two words distribution and exhibition have been highlighted here. Okay? So, new media are cultural objects, cultural forms which use digital uh, computer technology for distribution and exhibition. Now, what is the factor that is missing here? Okay? The factor that is missing here is of storage, which means it does not mean that it is not stored, but that is not the onus here. If it is stored even in the digital medium, but not distributed okay, and not exhibited, then we do not call it new media. Okay? So, I hope this is clear to you right in the beginning that distribution and exhibition of digital media, uh, only when that is there do we call it or term it new media. Fine. Next, le let us read from um, Wardrip Fruin and Monfort's book, The New Media Reader, Reader. The digital medium which we see may seem plural to us now because it is so myriad in its forms. Right? The term new media is a sign of our current confusion about where these efforts are leading and our breathlessness at the pace of change. Okay? So, um, it is after Manovich we, uh, we knew that new media has uh, to be uh, to be called new media, it has to be distributed and exhibited also right, in digital form. Uh, Wardrip and Fruin also you know uh, says that uh, this digital media is extremely plural, plural that is its forms are extremely uh, plural, uh, its forms are, are myriad right. And there is you know, a, you know almost a breathless pace of change right, there is the change that is happening in this uh, medium so to speak and the myriad forms that it sort of throws up right from time to time uh, perhaps is a change that uh, has not been paralleled in the history of media forms and media industries. Then they go on to say and I am quoting from them, how long will it take before we see the gift for what it is? A single new medium of representation, the digital medium formed by the braided interplay of technical invention and cultural expression. Now, you know, uh, they say that well, is it is there? They ask, is there a hope? Okay, one fine day to see the, all these, you know, and I'll be talking about these various forms, myriad forms in a while. Um, is there a hope of these kind of collapsing into one? brand new medium of representation, okay? what they call the braided interplay of technical invention and cultural expression. So, the, uh, the, the forms that comprise new media are many and uh, you know one of the most important points here is that or characteristics these have to have is that of interactive communication. Okay. So, what are the forms that are 
in which we find uh, you know new media express or what are the forms that new media uh, new media take the forms may be the blogs that you read the social net uh, networking sites like facebook or twitter podcasts rss feeds wikis and hypertext okay so um, you are this your generation is uh, of course deeply acquainted with all of these forms and uh, the of course the the important uh, aspect that these fulfill in order to be uh, at all called um, new media is that they are obviously uh, distributed and exhibited right and there is an uh, you know interactive communication look at all of these blogs po podcasts rss feeds hypertext wikis and social networks these are exhibited right on the net or on, on the internet and you access these from different uh, you know uh, different gadgets and different appliances right all of these are interactive in form and all of these are in the digital medium and they are exhibited right they are distributed and exhibited so again let's going back to manovich what uh, what do we have to reiterate here that new media forms cannot just be stored in digital form they also have to be exhibited and they are also interactive communication devices so therefore what is not let's ask this question what is not included in new media okay N what is not included in new media are also media forms but they are in this case all the media forms like television programs feature films books magazines right here this is important here also you may use computing right you may use uh, the digital a format for these for instance television programs books um, you have books in digital formats feature films magazines right uh, you could say that well these are also available to us in that medium but um, the um, exception is this that they are uh, you use computing for production and storage of these cultural media forms television programs feature films books and magazines but look at this slide here not for final distribution okay so as long as they are you know in uh, the storage stage right um, and they are not distributed or exhibited and you can't interact with them then we do not call these uh, new media if you interact with a book in at a you know at a hypertext level that is where you know you can read a book online and you can you know you can make your comments or give your um, uh, annotations etc and uh, the, where others can also communicate with you and uh, make their comments on your comments or on the text right then it no longer you know becomes uh, the old media right or old medium it then becomes part and parcel of the new media system so therefore interaction is again uh, what you may call a sine qua non of this new media system okay then i would like to spend uh, some time on uh, an essay by lev manovich uh, just before this we had referred to a book uh, by lev manovich which is referred to in the new media reader but we are now going to look at an essay by uh, lev manovich in um, in uh, the the edited volume new media reader now he gives us eight propositions okay as to um, you know in in, in you know as to how we can define new media or what characteristics have to be there in media forms in order for those okay to be considered or called new media so um, the first point that is made by manovich is this that we also before we move on to talk about the characteristics of uh, of new media first we shall have to to you know to distinguish or differentiate new media from cyber culture okay so new media versus cyber culture becomes really our take off point okay or becomes um, uh, you know uh, the the our uh, the point from which we begin to talk about new media so how do we distinguish between new media and cyber culture now according to manovich 
cyber culture is social phenomena on the internet okay new media is distinguished from cyber culture in that we define new media as cultural objects right so you see here these are cyber culture is a social phenomena right whereas new media are cultural objects and paradigms that are enabled by all forms of computing so where is cyber culture then is a phenomenon right um, new media is a paradigm and new media comprises various objects okay in all forms of computing the next point the point number 2 in the eight characteristics that are that have been given to us by manovich is this let's look at it carefully new media as computer technology is used as a distribution platform of course if this, we've referred to this here okay new media as computer technology should be used as a distribution platform that is these cultural objects um this new media objects that we uh, saw like podcasts like blogs like social networking sites etc okay these have to be distributed and Uh, ex and exhibited that is there has to be a distribution platform for these to be called um, new media forms point number 3 new media as digital software controlled uh, sorry digital data controlled by software now new media um, as digital data right has to be uh, controlled by software and the meaning is this right Uh, these new media forms have to be manipulated by software okay which leads to the automating of media operations why so that you know there are multiple versions of an object now let's look at this a bit more carefully right new media is con you know as, as digital data has to be controlled by software right uh, in the sense here controlling means that it has to be malleable manipulable by software um, uh, so that there is you know uh, there is a possibility of multiple versions of the same object being created and stored and distributed okay so we will not go so into um, you know so much detail but i would like to still talk about uh, dwell just a bit on uh, the other uh, you know um, five uh, the rest of the uh, eight characteristics so the fourth point or characteristic as given by manovich is that new media is the mix between existing cultural conventions and the conventions of software um it is not something that is entirely new and by this time we have i'm sure uh, had a, an idea of this okay so uh, he calls it a mix between existing uh, cultural conventions that is existing conventions and rules or existing methods you know of uh, uh, kind of storing these cultural forms and there is you know added to the this ex these existing cultural forms there is also the conventions of software so new media is really a mix between the previous methods and now with the coming in of software that can uh, you know uh, manipulate okay that can uh, you know enable the formation of uh, multiple versions of the same object right so it is a mixture of you know the existing cultural conventions and methods and uh, the conventions or the new methods brought in by software point number 5 new media as the is the aesthetics that accompanies the early stage of every new modern media and communication technology now it is also new media is not simply about software about control and manipulation by software it is also you know that it's also an aesthetics and in that sense many may also say that new media every time media change right every time there is 
a new breakthrough so to speak or you know a new format or new methods that are used um, in media forms right new methodologies then um, it is uh, it is obviously you know accompanied by a new a new aesthetic ideal or new aesthetic standards and methods in communication technology point number 6 new media are faster you know show faster execution of algorithms previously executed manually through other technologies okay so speed is an important aspect of new media then new media as the encoding of modernist avant garde new media as meta media now this is important new media is the encoding of modernist avant garde avant garde is a term um, well not only in literature but also in other forms like art for instance in design for instance okay so uh, we we find that a uh, new forms a new modern or even postmodern forms, okay, which are sort of what we call cutting edge art forms. Okay. These uh, new media also encode uh, from time to time these avant garde or cutting edge designs and technologies okay. and new me media therefore, is also, me uh, also meta media. Meta is a word Greek word meaning um, meaning beyond. For instance, metaphysics when we uh, say metaphysics in philosophy it is meta is beyond and physics that is going beyond the physical or going you know beyond the domain of physics right. So, here also new media is not just a medium of its own not only does it have its own forms um, media forms cultural forms, but it is also meta media in this meta media would mean media thinking about media media reflecting on media and media changing media. Then new media can also be considered according to Manovich as, par as a parallel articulation of similar ideas in uh, post second world war art and, and modern computing. So, in parallelly these aesthetic forms these new media forms okay, uh, go uh, are parallel okay, or have been parallel so to speak um, to developments in you know. Um, in modern computing developments in in uh, you know modern modernist art forms right and so there are certain connections and parallels between uh, between these uh, two domains that is new new media forms and art and modern computing right so among all these i didn't go into these um, four uh, points 4 to 8 because it will need a lot of time and then we may go away from you know central focus here but what did we find essentially what was important for us is a that new media should be distinguished from cyber culture in the sense that cyber where cyber culture is a social pheno, you know uh, our social phenomena on the internet new media are objects and paradigms that are enabled by all all kinds of computing then new media has to be a distribution and exhibition platform in order to be called new media. Then new media has to be something which is manipulable by software okay, uh, where there is an automating of media operations and where multiple objects uh, or versions of objects um, are enabled. Okay. There's, there's an, there is uh, an ability okay, of the software to create new uh, versions, newer versions or multiple versions of cultural objects. And then we saw for instance a mix between existing conventions and the conventions of software as an aesthetics that accompanies uh, new uh, communication technology, uh, where is their speed and where you know there it is um, the enco encoding of uh, modernist uh, avant garde art, it is meta media and it is the parallel articulation of um, ideas that are also there in modern art and modernist art and modern computing. Okay. So, we now know what new media is, we now know uh, the characteristics of new media and now let us move on to the other points. Right. Um, going back new media, now it does not mean that new media is something that we have just thought about 
just in this, uh, you know, in the 21st century or that uh, because the podcast is new or relatively new and the social networking sites are relatively new, uh, it is, it does not mean that it does not have a history, right. So, if you go through in detail uh, the new media reader, um, new media uh, reader by, you know, by, uh, that we referred to in the beginning of this lecture, you will find some very uh, interesting essays, you will find the delineation of the history of, uh, of new media and uh, you will be uh, about computing, about software and there are names like you know you are familiar with for instance Alan Turing okay, and Vannevar Bush uh, in the middle of uh, the 20th century. Okay. These were sort of the forefathers, right? They are, these are the forefathers of um, um, of uh, because of whom such things like or such cultural and media forms like new media are something that we could have even thought about, right? So whenever Bush and uh, this is something uh, most of you know, which is the you know, his emphasizing a mimics a machine or a memory, which is uh, it can be unpacked into memory index, okay, where there would be a compression and storage of knowledge. If you you know if you read these works by uh, Vannevar Bush or you know works like uh, in cybernetics like uh, Norbert Weiner for instance, okay, uh, these are excellent reads in the sense that these uh, these are scientists all right, these are technologists all right, but um, you know one gets so pleasantly surprised and inspired even okay when, when one reads these works why because there is a vision in people like Vannevar uh, Bush or in you know, you know people like Norbert Weiner for instance as to you know the betterment of knowledge okay to the betterment of um, you know to better ways of storing knowledge and and of disseminating knowledge and even the question of where you know the the human race as far as technology is going. So, whenever Bush is a name uh, uh, along with others that we should remember and that these are the people because of which we today have such technologies even though they are not immediately the creators of such technologies. So, uh, again how is new media new? If anyone asks you what is the new in new media, then we will have to say very precisely that the techniques as far as techniques of representation of data goes, right. As far as these techniques go sorry, as far as the techniques of representation go, there is a shift from the analog okay, to the digital. This uh, is again the without which not of new media and this is something you have to begin your answer with as you talk about new media. Then I refer to, um, you remember I refer to Bennett and Frau's edited volume or the Sage uh, Dictionary of Cultural Analysis, a book that uh, we had come across in other um, lectures uh, in, in, in previous modules as well. And there is uh, an essay by Terra Nova entitled cyber culture and the new media. You see uh, there is always an attempt you know to differentiate between these two terms new media as you saw in our lecture also in our discussion. Uh, there is an attempt to differentiate between cyber culture and new media, right. Uh, according to this author new media is media that breaks away from mass media. This is immensely important. Okay. New media breaks away from the older form of media. Okay. So, remember we did the culture industry uh, in the in, you know in the first lecture, a bit of it was also there in the lecture on the commodity. right? Uh, the new media has to break is one uh, you know in order to be called new media is one that has to break away from the older format of the mass media. Okay, now, to unpack it a bit, mass media um, and new media may be differentiated also not simply okay, uh, from the point of view of technological methodologies, which, 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 is something, which is something that we have been looking at all this while. But also, now as we move into the cultural analysis of new media, then we make uh, there are a few articulations that um, people like uh, Terranova in this essay are making. Uh, we can have these you know points of differentiation, whereas mass media may be called a modern industry, right? New media is postmodern in nature, 
right? This is very important. Mass media is modern in the sense that as we saw in the culture industry, uh, the goods are standardized, there are uh, you know uh, certain homogeneity in these, there is predictability, there is also as uh, or even as assembly line um, production. Okay. And the consumers are also at least seen uh, to be uh, to be homogeneous, right. That is there is not much segmentation really in uh, you know as far as the profiles of the consumers uh, go, right. But in new media we find that as a postmodern industry, uh, both the goods that are produced and the audiences that are you know um, targeted or the consumers that, that who are targeted are highly segmented. Okay, this is very important. So, whereas as we see what did we see here, whereas in mass media there is a standardization of good and goods um, and, and cultural products and objects, uh, there is also at least the assumption okay, that um, there is a certain degree of uh, sameness or homogeneity in the consumers uh, who are uh, partaking of this. In, uh, in the new media market, right, the goods are highly variegated uh, and the consumers are you know already the assumption is that the consumers are uh, very heterogeneous. Okay. So, it is a highly uh, postmodern or a higher, it is a postmodern industry in the sense of this you know lack of sameness or lack of heterogeneity and of course, you know this point that Manovich had also made uh, and uh, you know a great deal of speed that is a great deal of speed not only in the transfer of data, but also in the way these forms keep changing, okay, which means uh, which has led I think one of the critics uh, to say that uh, uh, new media is media that is forever new, that is forever changing itself. Okay, is one way of you know interpreting the new media, that is new media forms are forever you know in very high speed, right, um, in, in, in a great you know in very um, uh, frequent in a very frequent manner okay, producing newer and newer newer forms. Right? So, this is one way also of looking at new media particularly from not just a technological methodology perspective, but also from the perspective of uh, cultural studies that is uh, the main point being here in differentiating these two as uh, respectively postmodern and postmodern industries. Therefore, we may also call this okay on this kind of shift as a sh as a shift from a mass media to a multimedia this is very important okay uh, mass media products once these are you know once these are assembled once these are produced and once these are distributed um, they are not changed or they are not changeable. Why? Because they are not software determined. This is important, okay. Again, going back to Manovich and his uh, characteristics, these are not manipulable by software, okay. Whereas, in you know, <coughs> excuse me, whereas in uh, as far as uh, the new media is concerned, we may also use the term multimedia for it. So, multimedia conventions, software conventions, okay, allow changes right then that is allow you know a number of versions of any object to be stored and distributed okay so new media is also then characterized by change now um, reading from the text the study of new media is open to research that investigates them as sites, this is important, as sites of new cultural and political potentials. This in fact, as I said more than the technological detail is what is important for us. New media um, platforms okay, are, um, they have a lot of uh, potential okay, as you know, not of cultural and uh, political potential in the sense that these, because these are really new in a sense okay they are really new and they are manipulable and they are changing and it it 
it, it, it is not that it just gives the researcher you know a very rich very new and uh, very rich domain you know to conduct research of in cultural studies, but also that you know these are sites these are sites for new cultural and political happenings. Okay, so that we have to uh, understand them anew, right? As uh, uh, as you know, uh, and to look at them as places or locations where these, uh, where new cultural uh, practices are being developed, where new political uh, uh, political strategies are being developed, even willy-nilly. So, the question reading on the question of media and communication is key to social transformation in contemporary culture. The position of new media in this respect is strategic. They involve the problem of the strategic role played by communication in the reproduction of democratic societies and cultures. Okay. Uh, the you know despite the digital divide. Okay, the, despite the fact that there is enormous inequality in the very accessibility of the digital medium and its products, okay, um, there is also, and uh, many would say, uh, even paradoxically, there is also um, the great political potential. That is why they have used the word new cultural and political potentials. Okay, so there is great. Uh, potential of a new sort of democracy um, being uh, democracy evolving and in fact, in fact it has evolved many have uh, you know um, kind of uh, welcome welcomed this uh, new um, new media and its forms as highly egalitarian right so the position of new media in this respect is strategic uh, because they involve the problem of the strategic uh, role played by communication in the reproduction of democratic societies and cultures in as much as they are also new technologies. The study of new media also refers to the problems opened up by sociological analysis of the role played by information and communication technologies within capitalist economies. Okay. So, therein you, again you find the paradox, right. You will always have proponents from both uh, sides of the debate. Okay, proponents who say that well, you see, there is a whole global electronic culture to which you know you can have access uh, from any corner of the world. Okay, and therefore, um, despite your class, caste, gender status, uh, you have uh, this beautiful distribution uh, and exhibition system. Okay, which is there at the tip of your finger, at the click of a mouse. On the other hand, um, what the new media has done or have done, a new media forms have added or made more uh, complex if not complicated the hitherto so you know existent sociological analysis okay, of the role played by technology in a capitalist economy. Okay. So, the those on the other side of the fence okay, who see the digital divide as uh, one of the stark realities of our time, okay, who see uh, this as yet another form of late capitalism, see this is remember this is also postmodern a postmodern industry. Okay. So, you know postmodernism uh, is related to late capitalism. Okay. So, these are it is not that one should adopt a celebratory mode and now that there is you know um, uh, uh, there is we have access to knowledge and knowledge has been uh, you know we, it's uh, the internet is you know um, a door to all knowledge forms etc and mankind today uh, has sort of won this uh, battle against you know the poverty of knowledge and the poverty at least of the access to knowledge. It is not so and we as um, Terranova has shown us in her words, these are some of the things that we have to be careful about. Next, um, I will uh, end with another idea here in the cultural analysis of um, new media. Uh, new media can also be seen as a new form of expression in the public sphere. Now, uh, the philosopher Habermas, uh, Eugen Habermas, is the one, uh, is uh, is um, you know the uh, the person who's coined uh, the term public sphere, at least as 
um, a concept or conceptual tool or, or, or terminology in, uh, in philosophy and in critical theory and uh, even in sociology. right? So, uh, we then find that this new media is yet another addition to the public sphere and uh, well does it also then you know uh, as we talk about um, you know democracy about politics. Uh, also in the public sphere does it then also you know uh, further complicate and make complex the idea of public sphere and as given by Habermas. Okay. So, the new media is then seen as having greater potential for a cyber democracy or genuine public opinion where the subject is not preformed, but is able to fashion himself or herself. Okay. So, one of the points that we may, uh, we, we may you know without really going deep into the debate of the proponents and the adherents, the proponents and on the other hand the detractors of new media. Uh, the one thing is of course, sure okay, the subject here as he or she engages uh, with new media and these new, uh, new kinds of intercommunicative or interact interactive communication platforms okay, uh, compared to the older mass media forms, the subject and his or her subjectivity is not given, is not a given, okay. it is not considered preformed. Okay. It is you know as one uses new media forms, it is going through continual change and maybe that is you know one of the ways in pointing to the you know liberating uh, aspects of new media. Okay. Here the subject is not preformed and is free to fashion himself or herself without having any fixed identity. Okay. So, this also is uh, um, postmodernist um, uh, modernist way of looking at new media at subjectivity uh, as you know uh, fashioning in a new way probably Foucault today would have also pointed to a different sort of you know a different method or methodology of self fashioning right uh, if he were to talk about new media. So, uh, in that sense okay, um, new media the fashioning of oneself or one's own subjectivity and also you know liberating oneself from the very traditional sort of traditional categories of caste of gender of, of class etcetera. These are forms from which new, new media may allow you to liberate yourself. Okay. So, there is as, the, as is mentioned here, this is a new expression in the public sphere and sociological and cultural analysis will have to then rethink their parameters, even maybe rethink, rethink think some of their concepts as they um, allow this you know this new medium so to speak to uh, be a part important contem part, uh, contemporary part or important part of contemporary public sphere. Mark Poster Okay, is one such uh, proponent and I am uh, reading um, a sentence from him as is quoted in by Terranova in Terranova's uh, essay. The magic of the internet is that it is a technology that puts cultural acts symbolizations in all forms in the hands of all participants. Okay. So, we as I said the, the, the main point to understand to remember is these will new media will always have you know uh, the its proponents and its detractors. Okay. Uh, this it is not just the liberating aspects or this new addition to the public sphere that we need to look at. We also need to look at how you know there are new regimes of work right and there are new modes of production definitely it, it is a new media also belongs or is a part of the political economy okay. and as a part or at least um, uh, temporarily uh, from the point of view of time uh, being a part of late capitalist economies of uh, you know with a postmodern uh, uh, sensibility. Okay. There are new modes of uh, uh, production processes that go into these which need to be looked at even from a Marxist point of view from a political economy point of view what are the new forms. Okay, of exploitation of labor right, 
uh, that come in that surface in uh, when you talk about the uh, people the staff who are engaged okay in behind who are behind the scenes in this new media and what are the new regimes of work right does it mean um, you know when you talk about for instance if you say that uh, well these are of course uh, very liberating you, one can one can have access you know the older way older routines of work are no longer there you may be sitting in a beach somewhere and you may be sending in your work. Now, these, these kind of very simple statements are you know statements that are highly problematic right. In that sense your work also then does it continue into your leisure so called leisure hours right. So, if your leisure hours were well defined before right and you had your work time, your leisure time, your family time. In this case as you have uh, you know a new media which is available from uh, from various from an innumerable um, destinations then what are the new regimes of work now look at the word regime okay it is in that sense still a regime it is still regulated it is the the the, the you know the means of surveillance in this case will be different but uh, there is also the danger that in the new modes of production okay in the political economy of new media and the new regimes of work, we may only see exploitation taking newer forms. Okay. So, uh, ending with just two more slides, uh, Pierre Levy, another critic, calls this a new humanism, right? Coming and when we will be looking at cyber culture, okay, we will be talking about post humanism. So, it is a new humanism where there is both a growth in self knowledge and collective thought and both feed into one feeds into the other from collective thought the, the availability of, of the thought processes and the thought products of thought of thinking of so many people more than ever when they you know when there was a time of the printing press right here the accessibility is a thousand fold more than before. So, there is a growth of collective thought which in turn gives you know um, uh, you know, um, uh, gives an exponential push to self knowledge and self knowledge on the other hand the growth of self knowledge also feeds back into collective thought. So, there is a new humanism and then there which is also related to interactive communication to digital platforms to machines these are things that we shall be discussing in our next lecture and uh, ending with you know um, what one critic says this is a move from the from Descartes or the Cartesian I think therefore, I am to a uh, um, very promising okay, um, a very promising we think therefore, I am or we think also we both we think therefore, I am and we think therefore, we are right. So, I think the individual subject now is uh, no longer the isolated individual subject okay, thinking now is spread over um, you know the digital worlds exhibited in different digital platforms okay, which leads to this new slogan we think therefore, I am and we think therefore, we are that is both you know what Levy calls self knowledge and um, you know the collective thought that feed into one another. So, um, I hope uh, you know I have been able to shed some light of course, as always through some you know some of the practitioners and critics of um, uh, new media studies and this is of course, uh, being um, at the level of you know um, of uh, BTEC classes this is just um, an elementary look into new media those of you who are in the research levels and are watching this video um, of course, um, would find you know hopefully would find in some of the deliberations here ways of you know ways of research. For instance, um, somebody in philosophy may may think of working on subjectivity in new media. Okay. Somebody from sociology and cultural studies may think about the political economy of new media. Now, it is not to say that work has not been done, but a lot of work remains 
uh, you know to be done in various aspects, the aesthetics of new media for instance. So, these are some of the areas which students at the postgraduate levels at the PhD levels may take up okay, as research topics. So, let us now move on to the discussion and uh, quickly a few questions. Uh, if you get a question like define new media, you now are aware of the different ways in which you can define new media. You first say that the new media is first defined as a digital medium okay, as compared to the medium here is not an analog one. Then you can refer to Lev Manovich and his um, you know eight characteristics if, if you get a question with 5 to, to 8 marks or 10 marks even, you may refer to the 8 characteristics and uh, the first one of the first things that you need to tell here is that uh, new media are cultural objects. Okay? This is most important cultural objects, cultural forms, interactive communication, cultural forms okay, which use digital computer technology for not just for storage, but for distribution and exhibition. Okay? So, what are the forms of new media? The interact mean the form of the forms of interactive uh, communication and new media and uh, we have to remember that there are many more coming okay? the forms which you cannot even have never even thought about. Right? Um, the forms and as technologies probably you uh, can think of how to contribute to newer forms. Uh, new or more useful okay that's more important more useful forms socially useful forms of new media anyhow the new media forms may be prod podcasts blogs social networks rss feeds hypertext wikis etc so what are the characteristics of new media the characteristics of new media again would be part of the first question that is define new media. Okay, the characteristics are maybe based on eight propositions given to us by Lev Manovich and we begin by talking about the difference between cyber culture and new media where we say that cyber culture is a social phenomenon whereas new media are actually objects and paradigms which are enabled importantly by all forms of computing. Then we also will say of course, the distribution and exhibition are two important um, you know and aspects that have to be there for something to be called new media and then also that new media is controlled by software. Okay, this is very important new media forms have to be controlled by software have to be able to produce newer versions many versions multiple versions. So, that we may the, uh, call this journey from the old media to new media a journey from mass media to multimedia okay. and these are of course, the, uh, the rest of the characteristics okay, which, which deal with the aesthetics which deal with the speed okay, which deal with the mixing of conventions of modernist avant garde and uh, you know parallel uh, something that runs parallel to other similar ideas in art and modern computing. So, I um, hope uh, you know this has been useful for you and as I said there are so many books uh, you only need to go to the internet okay, you and, and to, to look at all these you know uh, cultural studies practitioners and those of you who are into such uh, you know uh, into such studies in computer science, electronics etcetera uh, would find this, this aspect Okay, this perspective very interesting and it is I believe I am not saying this only just because I am from the humanities and social sciences. Any good um, computer scientist will also you know consider these aspects right, it, it only enriches you know your knowledge even enriches I would say your perhaps your technological knowledge. Go back to people like Alan Turing for instance to Vannevar Bush to Norbert or Weiner right. These are the people who not only read such perspectives, but also gave, gave such perspectives from the human uh, sciences to computers to technology to the new technologies that were developing at their time. Okay, so, in the next lecture we shall be looking at cyber culture. In this lecture we have already made a differentiation between a distinction between cyber culture and the new media and I shall meet you uh, in the next lecture. Thank you.